Now to the massive travel rush expected this holiday. AAA is expecting nearly 6 million people to fly this week as we learn more about that terrifying turbulence incident. And we're hearing from one of the passengers on board. Trevor Alt has the story now. Good morning, Trevor. A scary situation for that mall. Yeah, absolutely, Gio, and it's happening as we're in the middle of this extremely busy stretch of travel. We've got more than 40,000 flights scheduled at airports across the country today, but we've got those new details about this extreme turbulence overseas, and the passenger we're hearing from is a surgeon who says not only did she help assess some of the many injuries of passengers on board, she says her two-year-old was tossed up in the air up above the overhead compartments. This morning, an investigation underway into that stunning severe turbulence incident that injured dozens of passengers overseas. At least 10 passengers were transported to the hospital, many tossed about the cabin. Someone said it was like being in the inside of a washing machine, and it really was. Surgeon Cecilia Laguzzi was on board, saying the plane felt like it was free falling for six or seven seconds. The turbulence so strong it threw her two year old up into the ceiling above the luggage compartment. We were trying to find him on the floor and I started um, screaming his name until someone told me, Are you looking for a baby? And I said, Yes. And he said, Well, it's up there. And he pointed up. And it was an image I will never forget. He was crying, he was very scared, and we were all very scared as well. But the moment I took him in my arms, he calmed down. Laguzzi says multiple people were thrown above the luggage. This video showing a man being pulled down, though it's not clear how he ended up there. She says her son is thankfully okay. Her four-year-old daughter is bruised and cut, but all right. Blood seen on some of the seats in the aftermath. The flight from Madrid to Uruguay making an emergency landing in Brazil. It seems that we're seeing more of these incidents where people are injured in turbulence. But two things to remember. One is the airplane is very, very strong. The second is nobody that's wearing a seatbelt gets hurt. It's only the people who are not belted in that get hurt. And Gio here at Newark, and on top of all the crowds, they're also having some staffing issues with their air traffic controllers that's leading to some pretty major delays. Just yesterday, they had 361 delays just here. Now, looking ahead through the rest of the holiday stretch, tomorrow, the 4th of July, is going to be the lightest day, but then it picks right back up through the weekend. In fact, the TSA says on Sunday it's possible they could screen more than 3 million passengers across the country. It'll be the first time in the agency's history they have ever hit that number. We're also hearing from the FAA, who says they're in contact with the military, but the possibility of opening up some restricted airspace to make sure all these airplanes keep moving. Gio? One thing's for sure, it's going to be busy.